Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing and wonderful. Let's go ahead and get straight into your spiritual messages and then we'll move forward to the loving relationship. I want to say thank you so much, guys, for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate that, all right? I get the messages from God and the Holy Spirit. So let's go ahead and get some channel messages here, holy angels. What messages we have for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. DNA activation here. So some of you guys are definitely feeling the symptoms of DNA activation. This could give you like some type of drowsiness, uh, some type of headache, okay? Um, this also could uh, mess with your nose, like your sinus, all right? But there was definitely some type of activation. You're feeling some activation here, okay? Let's see what else? What else, angels? Yeah, you guys are going through a transformation. You guys are definitely going through a transformation, okay? Yeah. You're starting to see 333, okay? That number is going to be very significant for you guys. The Ascendant Masters are within you, and you're fully protected. It's time to make your decision and speak your soul's truth. So if you feel like you have been pulled or called um, from the divine to speak your truth, Here's your confirmation, okay? What else? I'm trying to speak a little slower because I know I tend to get the messages and I just want to go ahead and do it really fast. So I'm trying to take my time. Okay, so we have the mind here. Your mind is powerful. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you feel it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change for the better. So definitely you are changing because your DNA is activating. Now your mind is changing to a whole perspective here. Um, and definitely a lot of positivity I see, okay, Scorps? A lot of positivity going into uh, into your mind now. Some of you guys are definitely leaving the old programming behind. Oh God, transformation again came out. So yeah, definitely you're going through some type of transformation and this is the transformation of your mind. All right, you guys are definitely starting to think more positive, no more negativity here, Scorps. And I feel like some of you guys are going through that transitioning, okay? Yep, you're raising your vibration, baby, All right? You definitely are raising the levels of consciousness and awareness, mm -hmm. okay? You're not letting energy vampires come and attach to you anymore, right? You're not, use, you're not letting them take your energy anymore like you used to, right? What else? Music is going to be very significant for a lot of you guys. This could be like mantra music. This could be like high vibrational frequency music. But the power of music bring a beautiful positive vibe to our hearts and brain. Again, the mind is something that is, is being positive now. And you listening to these mantra music or frequency music... It's going to bring a vibe to your heart and brain, okay? Let's get one more. High Priestess. You're definitely getting some type of revealing here, all right? I feel like you're a hidden, a hidden gem, I just heard. You're a hidden gem, High Priestess. And there's a lot of things that's being revealed to you. Um, you're definitely a mysterious person and a spiritual enlightenment. Um, you definitely have high, powerful, subconscious mind. And I feel like everything you're starting to see now clearly with your third eye. All right. So now because you're going through the transformation of your mind and you're leaving the old programming behind, um, now you're going through, through some type of um, DNA activation by raising your vibration to a higher level of consciousness to be able to be in contact with your God, God self, right? your higher self, or the divine itself, right? Your father. A spiritual experience by raising your vibration to the fifth dimension to come into union with your twin flame, which is your higher self or your God self. And again, I feel like a lot of these messages are coming in with our past life relationship, okay? 
This is someone that you used to be with in the past life connection, okay? You could have been in Egypt. You could have been a Sumerian, okay? You could have been in Atlantis, all right? But this is you guys coming together again as a yin and yang, okay? Some of you guys are already awakening. Or your soul, your other soul, the other half of your soul is awakening at this very moment. So you're understanding that your mind is changing, but you're activating, but you're raising the vibration. And because you're coming into union with your God self, your twin flame, okay? Let's get some numbers here. Let's get some numbers. Thank you. We got 24, 24. Good time. See, I mean, I'm reminiscing. Me, personally, I feel like this is reminiscent of your past life, even though you don't remember um, you're reminiscing of the past life and maybe you're starting to remember because your consciousness is actually being activated to remember who you were and to remember who is this person or this past life connection that's coming towards you. All right. But I feel like you remember the good times, you know, so 24, 24 can be very, very significant. 22, 44 can be also significant here. So it says uh, leisure, rest. Pleasure, love, affection, kindness. It says, you are worthy of affection, leisure, and pleasure. If you tell your family and friends how you feel, you'll find that you are all on the same page and can work together effectively. Many people are rooting for you. If you spread love, it will find its way back to you multiply. So some of you guys need to be spreading your love or you guys are spreading this beautiful light that you have, this anointing, and it's going to come right back to you, okay? What else? Thank you. One, 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 intuition, high priestess, okay? Moderation, patience, flow, clarity, movement, self-realization and unconditional love time to implement long cherished ideas you're on the right track towards making your dreams and vision a reality the right people circumstances and resources are being sent your way happiness and new opportunities are at hand trust in the process so if you're starting to see one 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 that's also confirmation of your manifestation Things coming together. This opportunity coming together with you. All right. What else? Follow the message. Again, one, 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 but with a zero. One, zero, one, one. So take action. Hope, new beginning, fresh start, lifestyle, purpose, and spiritual awakening. This is a call to action. To move forward, the sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of the perser perseverance, okay? So you guys are starting to see those numbers, especially 111, okay? That's just an um, indication of your manifestation, your intuition, okay? There you go, 101 again means fresh start. So new beginning, fresh stars again, spiritual awakening. Uh, this is also spiritual development and making a difference. Okay, so starting over. So some of you guys are... Look at this. I can make this up. Look at this. <laughs> starting over and starting fresh. So new beginnings are showing up right now. And, you know, it's literally letting you know that whatever you've been manifesting is definitely opening a new opportunity for these manifestations to come in. Because now you're drawing love into your life. You're attracting this love, abundance, peace, a spiritual development into your life. And you don't even have to chase it anymore. 1313 could be very significant. But again, 101, 111 is very, very um, common right now. And it's starting fresh and starting over. So a lot of you guys are definitely starting over. Beautiful. Because some of you guys are definitely 144. Okay? Uh, you guys are definitely 
one of the 144 and this is the reason why you guys got to get together with your yin and yang okay coming together mm -hmm. all right beautiful message Let's see what other messages we have here. Message here for Scorpio Collective. <clears throat> Message. Do we let them take them out? Message for Scorpio. Victim. Hmm. Some of you guys feel like a victim. of some type of trickery okay let's let's just pray all right what else <clears throat> okay so i feel like some people are victims here they could be victim of a dragon that's what i see someone really got tricked okay somebody got tricked in eating this walnut and they got trapped That's what I feel. Somebody got tricked in eating the walnut and they got trapped in there. So this has, this is nothing to do with you. All right. I feel like you have the faith and you always been steered and guided. You've been steered and guided. Okay. So I feel like some people have been taking the bait. Somebody took the bait here and became a victim. Okay, what else? Not you. You've been expanding your horizon. You've been raising your vibration. You understand exactly where you belong, okay? You belong with the Ascended Masters. Mm -hmm. I also feel like you've been, um, like I feel like God has you know when he says he's going to pour out his spirit upon his children? That's what I feel. God has poured, he poured out his spirit upon his children, his daughters and his son. And I feel like that's how you guys became very discernment. Yeah, it's released, okay? Something has been released and that is the power. That is the, the spirit, right? That's been upon you guys. But some people became very victim because they thought that this was a walnut or some food and they got trapped, all right? But you have you had expand your horizon and, and having faith. Like faith in protection. What else? Yeah, I feel like the breath of father has been, I don't know, blown on your face or on you, something like that. What else? Creation. Mm hmm Yeah, so you, as you can see how he's blowing his breath, right? And he's just pouring out all that spirit or, yeah, whatever it is that you want to call it, it's all over, you see? It comes to you for you to have a realization that you are going to be creating your own reality because now you are also the creator. You are going to be creating your reality. You're about to expand your horizon. So you're about to create something beautiful here, a new beginning, starting over, starting fresh. Okay? And that's why you're getting the Holy Spirit or you're getting the, the, the Spirit of God upon His children because He wants you to create. Yeah, you're feeling the instant. Your intuition is telling you something. All right, some of you guys are definitely seeing like mystical creatures in your dream. All right, you're starting to see mystical creatures in your dream. And again, it's like that. If you can see the smoke, all right, the smoke or the light or whatever this is, okay, it's, it's just a mist. All right, it's a mist, but that mist is all over 
all over you. All right. You do have this animal. It could be a, a white wolf that's protecting you. That's telling you, follow your instinct, follow your intuition here in Scorpio. Let's get one more. Something is being released to you. Yeah, something is being released to you, Scorpio. All right. And have gratitude because this is you going to be recovering, you know, a lot of things that you lost. All right. But there's miracles that's coming for you. So the, again, there's the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. I feel like this is this is pouring down on you. And again, follow your instinct, follow your intuition because you're about to recover. You're about to have the key. And that key is you activating your DNA. You are definitely going through a change. You're going through some type of cocoon. You know what I'm saying? It's not easy going through this transformation, but you have to go through it, right? Because at the end of the uh, at the end, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to have the key to be able to manifest uh, whatever it is that you want and be able to recover everything that was stolen. Okay, this could be your mind too. They stole your mind. Maybe you didn't remember who you were. Now you're going to remember everything because now the the spirit, I feel like the spirit is, is about to be poured on you. The spirit of God. Yeah, renew. <laughs> you're about to renew. You're about to have everything you want, desired. You're starting fresh. You're starting over. It's like you're starting to remember who you are, but you're going to start over again because this old self, you're dying your old self to become this new self, okay? Yes, so renewal is definitely in, in your cards so, so you could be able to recover. So recovering, renewal, expansion, creation. So you're definitely a creator. You're also a creator here. But some people became the victim because they fell in that trap. All right. Okay. So let's get into... Um, a message of your person. This is somebody you could be dealing with. This could be past person, your recent person, your loved person, family member, whatever. Just take what resonates, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, then it don't resonate with you. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person. Male, female. Message for Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, you're about to have change. Okay. So again, regeneration, growth. Like I said about the butterfly, you're metaphorcing right now. And the metaphorcing is not easy. Okay. This is not easy because you have to be in that cocoon. It's lonely. It's dark. You know what I'm saying? But you have to go through that transformation in order to make the change, right? In order for you to become this butterfly. So... This is a cycle that you're definitely closing out to open a new cycle here. So definitely expect changes, all right? Changes are coming in. We do have divine intervention as well. All right, what else? How else for Scorpio? Okay. Okay, so we do have unfinished business here. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's not over. Somebody feel like it's not over between you and them, Scorps. This person doesn't want this pattern to keep going back and forth. I feel like this person is ready to change to make this better for you. I feel like you guys are going to come back together in this situation, whatever you've been feeling. Okay, what else, Angels? What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, I feel like this person is taking off the mask. All right, whoever you're dealing with, Scorps, whoever you're connecting to, whoever you're thinking of right now. Yeah, this person is about to take off their mask. Whatever they were concealing or disguising themselves as, they're going to change completely. Okay, maybe they was not showing you any love. Maybe they wasn't showing you any emotions or feelings. Okay. So they, they was disguising themselves. But it's not over. This person wants um 
they want to come back whoever this is or they just want to be in your presence okay what else can do scorpio what else this person could have felt like they were in the crossroad they didn't know what this decision to make right they didn't know what decision to make um they could have been like stuck with deer deer heads and the lights right or the lights and the, you, you know how the deers they look at the light and they just they stay stuck so this is what this person was feeling they were feeling like they were stuck but you know what now they want to date you for real for real this person wants you to they want to court you all right they want to meet up with you they don't want this to finish they want this to start over. They want this to start fresh, Scorpio, because whoever this is, there's definitely some change coming in your way, but this person is also changing because they're going to take off the mask because they're going to tell you they want to date you, okay? So this could be a new person or a person that's been watching you and admire them. Okay, what else? Yeah, you give this person anxiety, all right? You just put this person in some type of box, and, and they don't know what to do. Some of them could be feeling some type of stress. They could be very restless, Scorpio, but this person is your soulmate. Mm -hmm. They're your soulmate, okay? This is somebody new that's coming into your life, right? I mean, you may, you may know them, but it's not like you've been with them, you know what I mean? This could be a twin flame soulmate, soul contract, soul connection, past lives, this is your past life connection that's coming in. All right. Definitely. This is your past life connection. I told you so. This has to do with the yin and yang here. So definitely somebody coming back from the past. And not the past from here. I'm talking about past lives. Okay. Egypt. Sumerian. Atlantis. Okay. Get that through your head. God and goddesses. All right. You're about to meet your kingdom spouse. Mm -hmm. all right that's what i feel so there's definitely some changes here happening with this person they're changing the way so they can come and date you and have some type of soul contract or they definitely feel like you're a soulmate okay they know about you all right let's get deeper into this Let's see how this soulmate feels about you, think about you. So how this person is feeling, I mean, thinking about Scorpio at this very moment. How this soulmate is thinking about Scorpio at this very moment, angels. What are they feeling? Seven of Swords in reverse. See, my cards are not reverse, guys, okay? They're not reverse. What are they thinking? the world i mean what they're wanting the world seven of swords so maybe this first maybe you caught them doing something or maybe this person is is catching themselves thinking that they are being deceptive to you by not coming forward and telling you that they really care about you and that they want to date you and that they want to court you right maybe they feel like deceptive like they feel like why i'm not telling them that i do like them why i'm not coming forward and you know and express how i feel so this person you don't have to worry about this person okay i just feel like this person is starting to feel to think that they are deceiving you by not coming forward and telling you how they truly feel okay because um what they want is the world they want the world with you they see you're a very gold lucky person um they know that this could be a new start a new beginning because the world is an ending but plus it's also a start a new start, a new fresh, a new beginning, right? Um, this person also could see you like in a good light as well. Um, you could be very popular as well. Mm -hmm. So this is what they're wanting. They want the world with you. So what is the action? Okay, two sword. All right, so they're thinking about to make this decision. They haven't made it yet, but they're thinking about it. They're in their head about it, Okay. And I feel like the crows is over here telling this person, yo, make the decision. Make the decision because I feel the crows like blowing the trumpet. <laughs> That's what I heard. All right. And this person is like the crows are actually blowing the trumpet and say, you need to make the decision like now. You know, stop showing, stop trying to run away. In the, in the 
in the recent past the knight of swords so this person probably tried to run away or try not to send you a message or try not to like take action all right or they just kept quiet to themselves they really didn't express you know what i'm saying but i feel like this person is now about to get into their motorcycle or their car and they're about to charge your head they're coming towards you all right the outcome is the two of cups all right so they're coming towards the soulmate which is you scorpio yeah yeah that's what i feel okay at first they was not expressing or communicating much um and you're gonna see the change in this person that they're gonna start talking to you messaging you and you're gonna be like wow wait a minute this person was not messaging me before so it's like this person is definitely activating as well their soul is awakening so what is the seven of swords in reverse angels they don't want to be like that are just flying all over <sighs> okay what is the seven of swords here what is the seven of swords here seven of swords of pentacles so maybe this person feels scorpio that you could be like higher than them maybe you are very stable very grounded you know what i'm saying they see you put all you put all together you're very responsible here so maybe this person feels a little intimidated what's the seven of sword and it's like they know they can't lie to you like they know they can deceive you because you you can see them right through them Okay, you're the high priestess. They know you're very spiritual. Yeah, the hi ooh, the hierophant. Okay, Scorpio, this is changing now. This is definitely changing. They don't want to be deceptive. They don't want you to think that they are deceptive just because they haven't come in and show their true colors, right? But I feel like this person knows that you are the one for them because the hierophant, they want some type of commitment with you. Yeah, taking some type of leap of faith here. Oh, the magician. Yeah, this person has been manifesting you. Wow. Yeah, Scorpio, I feel like this person is ready. They're ready to give you what you want. Um, You're about to have whatever you want, Scorpio. You can have whatever you like. All right, this person really going to give you some type of commitment. They manifest you. They see you as the one. What is the world? This person wants to give you the world, okay? This is what they're wanting. They want to give you the world. Oh, the emperor. Yes, baby. This person is showing up as the boss. Bobby is home. Daddy is home. All right? I feel like this person is takes, wants to take control. This person is about to take control. They're about to come and manifest you or they're about to send you a message. They're going to come... Um, with this authority and they're going to explain to you what's, what's going on look the chariot yeah this person is coming with higher level of commitment Ooh, daddy's home <laughs> Ooh, what else what is this world angels yeah the emperor they're ready they're like you know what i'm gonna show i'm gonna show scorpio that i am the boss <laughs> I'm going to take control. Okay, okay, daddy. Okay, what is the world here? They want to give you the world, baby. What's uh, Two of pentacles. Yeah, but they could be in two minds as well. Again, you got the two of swords over here. They thinking about it, all right? Going back and forth about it. Um, just trying to contemplate on it. But this person wants to give you the world. What else in juice? Yeah, okay, they're going to wait for you. They're going to wait for you. They're going to wait for you as long as they can. It's a cup, okay? They want this love with you, all right? They really want this love with you. The action that they're going to take is they're in their head thinking about making the decision, okay? But they want this new love with you. They found it in you, and they're willing to wait for you. 
What is the ace? Of, well, what is the um two of swords? What is the decision? What is the action? What is the action? Okay. Jeez. So they could have been in a hermit mode. Okay. They could have been a hermit. Uh, maybe you wasn't communicating. They wasn't talking to you. You have pushed back your energy. Or this person had pushed back the energy. But it's in reverse. So they're coming to charge ahead, baby. They're coming to charge ahead with the Knight of Cups. This person is coming with flowers. Or they're coming with some type of beautiful gesture here. Ooh, Scorpio. Who are you dealing with, baby? What else? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, the King of Wands. This could be a Leo, Sagittarius, an Aries. They about to take action. Okay, this person very passionate. They're very passionate. They have an intense chemistry with you. They're not letting you go. Okay, what happened in the recent past? They run away or they walked away from the situation, not communicating, not talking to you. But look, the Knight of Cups again. This person is coming with love in the brain. They feel left out. Because they look like you didn't chase them. They wanted you to chase them, Scorpio, but you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. You just, you know, you kept to yourself. You did your own thing. You was happy. You was going to work. And they felt left out because they thought that you was going to chase them. But now they're chasing you. The two of cups. All right. What's the two of cups? What's the two of cups for Scorpio? Oh, yes, changes. Whatever this situation was going on that this person was not talking to you or communicating the way they wanted to, that's about to change. You're making this person change. Okay? That that they um owe they're going through an ego death. So their old self is actually dying to become the new self. Okay, Scorpio, you're making that happen. All right, you're making that happen. What else, angels? They want you, Scorpio, because this is your Scorpio. This is your card. You're making them transform. What else? You're transforming them in, um, in, um, yeah, this is your past life connection. This is someone from the past life experience that you had. You have many, many lifetimes. So this is someone that you uh, are going to see again. Like your soul is going to remember this person. Yeah, Knight of Cups. You bring a lot of fulfillment to this person. Or this person is going to bring a lot of fulfillment to you. All right. I feel like this person has been missing you for many, many lifetimes. Okay. Yeah, look. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Commitment. Relationship. Um, Long-lasting um, foundation here. Um, generation wealth here with this person. Definitely. Oh, my God commitment wow being together this person is going to marry you for some of you guys you're going to get married with this person for some of you guys you're just going to get a beautiful new uh career but i just feel like this person is ready to put a ring on it this person is ready to settle down Okay, maybe they didn't settle down with other people, but with you, look at this. You have you you're, you're about to accomplish something with this person. Wow, 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 Scorpio. Okay, let's get some of these. Actually, let's get some of these. What messages we have here for Scorps? Wow, well, Scorpio, you found your soulmate. Your, your soulmate found you. Your soulmate twin flame. What else? My goodness. It's love. Unconditional love, Scorpio. Self-love, oneness, affection, attraction. This person finds you very attractive. What else? You got a lot of passion with this person. What else, Angels? palm tree stability you have the ace of pentacles right and the ten of pentacles wow that's money generation wealth okay um stability with money and and, and a foundation but again palm tree stability security okay growth with this person definitely some type of growth all right what else 
you guys are very you guys are going to be talking a lot very interesting with each other you guys are going to be doing conversation this person is waiting messages from you or you you're about to be waiting messages from this person oh yeah that communication that talk is coming all right you haven't talked to this person this person is about to talk to you you're going to have some type of clear um true revelation about this person twin flame <laughs> This is your twin flame. I can't make this up. Yin and yang. There you go. Union. So this is somebody that's coming in that was your past life experience. And you guys are going to meet in this lifetime. Okay. And um, I feel like this person feels like every lifetime you've always been beautiful or handsome. Like you're always the one that's been standing out. You know. And that's why you're divine feminine or divine masculine. Because this person feels like you've always been so beautiful or handsome. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Let's get messages here. Message here for Scorpio. What messages we have here? Oh my God, Scorpio. Commitment. Things are getting serious. Let me get one, one more. And it says, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. So definitely commitment. I told you. Give me one more. Okay. Hold on. Let it pop out. Okay. All right. So somebody's spying. This person is definitely spying. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. So somebody got their eye on you. They spying on you, Scorpio. If you work with this person, this person sees you all the time. Or they in your social media. It's social media, okay? Give, give it a try. Give it a time. Everything in divine timing. Let things go flow. Let things flow. <laughs> Scorpio, let things flow, okay? It could be an earth sign, a fire sign, okay? So, yeah, I feel like you guys should let this flow. Give me one last one here for Scorpio. Commitment's definitely in the cards here. Give me, give me a message for Scorps. How this person feels about Scorpio. Oh, they're running a lot of emotions. Deep emotions for you, Scorpio. This person has deep emotions for you. And they cherish you. They cherish this relationship. One, one last one. Thank you. Yeah, and let go. Put your guards down, baby. Go with the flow, all right? Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing, okay? What I said, this person admire you. You have a secret admirer here. It's time to think of everything that you admire in a partner. And this person is it, all right? So my love, I'm going to leave it there with this says. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, God loves you, and I love you too. Jesus love you, and I love you too. Bye, guys.